And now, Tumblr comments with Jacksepticeye. On a scale of mini boss to final boss, how boss are you? I'm that super secret boss that you can't get to unless you're playing like New Game Plus Plus and you need the super special item and you need all the armor and the strongest weapons just to be able to take a chunk out of his health and only a few people in the entire world actually beat him. That's how boss! Do you ever get bored from YouTube? A huge fan from Portugal, also you're probably not going to answer, but one can dream. DREAM NO MORE, FOR SHE HAS COME TRUE! Now there's never been a time when I've gotten bored of YouTube, I mean there's certain times when I wish I had more time to do stuff, or certain things might have frustrated me at the time, or something like that, but I've never gotten bored from it, mainly because uh, it's, the, it's the one reason why I do so much variety on the channel. Like, I don't just do variety so you guys have more different things to watch. That's one of the reasons, but another big reason is so I don't get bored of stuff. Like, I never put games back to back on the channel or anything, because I want to keep stuff moving, I want to keep variety going up, I want to spice things up and like keep the commentary fresh all the time. And so I'm not looking at the same games all the time either, so I don't get bored of playing the same stuff. Are you going to any gaming events soon? Would love to meet you. I've none planned soon, the next one I said was PAX Prime that I was going to, that's not till August, so it's quite a while away. People want me to go to some UK events that are going on, I think like... Wait, is I-54 over or on now or coming up soon? I think it's this month, I think it's in a couple of weeks or a week or something. And uh, people wanted me to go to that, but it was a bit too soon after PAX East. I mean, it was it was a while ago that I went to PAX East, but for the sake of like YouTube and the mentality and getting back into your rhythm and your groove, it's kind of hard to go to different events within like a month or something of each other, and then some other events later in the year are really close to each other as well because I, I'm really, really consistent on YouTube, like, my videos go up two a day, every single day, at the exact same time every day, unless YouTube decides to take a shit all over itself. But, I mean, that kind of consistency, you really have to get regimented into a pattern, and once you go on a trip, like, coming back from PAX East, it took me, like, a week or two weeks. Even now, I'm still, like, just getting back into the groove of things, so it's a bit hard planned trips. Jack, my boyfriend and I are obsessed with your videos. We watch them as soon as you upload them, and we seriously love you. You're one of our favorite people, although we haven't met you in real life, yet. Thank you for being who you are. You have inspired us to be better people while making us laugh along the way. That's so nice. Thank you so much. And tell your boyfriend I said hi. Um, it's it's weird to think that like couples sit down to watch my stuff or family. Somebody told me before like their whole family like sits down and watches like a couple of people in their family, like their mother or their brother or whatever. And to me that's really odd because like, I'm st I am don't feel like somebody who should have so much attention thrust upon them. I mean, I'm super grateful for it, and I try and, like, not take it for granted and steer it in the right direction. But it's still really weird to me to, like, actually think about the people sitting down watching my videos. That kind of stuff blows my mind, but thank you so much. That's really nice what you said. Your energy makes me want to go build a house. Do it, bro! Just get out there! Rip your shirt off! I don't care what the weather is! Just go out, grab some timber! Actually, you know what? Better yet, you don't even need to go buy the timber! Just go find your nearest tree and punch it into little timber pieces and then build a house all you want! Even if it's just a little dog house, just build something. Can I call you Oppa? I mean, you can if you want, if you're a younger female. I guess that would be the correct term to call me. Well, unless you're not Korean, then I, I don't know why, but... For anybody who doesn't know, Oppa is like... It means like brother, but it's like Korean- younger Korean female siblings call older males oppa. Which means like brother. So that's why you have like, in Gangnam Style, it's like oppa Gangnam Style. It means like brother is Gangnam Style, basically. Will you notice me, senpai? If that's your picture, like if that's you in the picture, I'm guessing I already did notice you. Cause that's me in the picture with you. <laughs> hey Jack, how do I stop the squatch? This is a very good question. A lot of people ask me this every day. Like, a lot of people are really worried about it. Cause the squatch just like bursts through. And everybody wants to know how you can stop him, so... I mean, the only thing I'd say is that you can't because NOTHING STOPS THE SQUATCH! Jack, are you a My Little Pony fan? I'm not personally, I've never watched the show, I never will watch the show. I don't really get why some people are so obsessed with it. I don't really know where the whole... Um, like, My Little Pony craze just suddenly came out of in the last couple of years. Well, I guess it's a good few years back at this stage. But, like, all of a sudden, like, My Little Pony was always a show when I was growing up and everything. But then, all of a sudden, like, everybody started watching it. It turned into, like, an internet thing. I mean, I have nothing against the people who watch it. I have nothing against bronies, people who love My Little Pony, who collect figures or anything like that. 
I don't care what you're into. You can like whatever the hell you want. As long as you're not hurting people or trying to impose your beliefs onto people. I don't care what people do with themselves. Um, but I, 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 like, I don't get why it suddenly became a thing. Um, cause like, you have like the Darude Sandstorm thing on YouTube now. And that came from a League of Legends Twitch streamer. He was like playing League, League of Legends and he turned on Darude Sandstorm and that became like a meme that way. So, like, I understand the origins of stuff like that, but I, I still don't understand where My Little Pony came out of all of a sudden. Maybe you guys can tell me. Hey Jack, what would you do if Sam got his way back into your head? I'd probably die, because first off, he's septic. Secondly, I already still have my two eyes. And thirdly, he's huge! Have you seen the size of that motherfucker? I mean, look! He's like a third of my head already. That inside- yeah, you. That inside? Gee, that would like explode my face. Generic question. Even more generic reply. Sings, Can you feel the love tonight? Not really. I can't- I can't really feel the love tonight. Um, it's Friday night, everybody's out drinking, so I'm just here alone. Um, can you guys show me love? Everybody, show me love! Everybody, come here, hug me! Hug me! Oh, jeez, oh, oh, fuck! Jack, can you read some English literature? Fucking do it, or I'll wreck you! Okay, jeez, buddy, relax, calm down, we're all friends here. Horatio says, "'Tis but our fantasy, and will not let belief take hold of him, touching this dreaded sight twice seen of us. Therefore, I have entreated him along with us to watch the minutes of this night, that, if again this apparition come, he may approve our eyes and speak to it. Don't know why you wanted me to read English literature, but okay, done! Well, Jack, if you had to choose between cake or cookies, which would the boss choose and why? Why? Why would someone wish that upon anybody? Why would you make me choose? I can't choose between cookies or cake. They're both super delicious. You know what? Mash the two of them together and make cookie cake. And then everybody will be happy. Jack, is there a video of every time you have done your intro yet? If not, there needs to be. Not that I know of. I haven't seen one anyway. Um, I don't know if that would be very fun to watch. Because, like, five, ten minutes of TOP OF THE MORNING TO YOU LADDIES! That would probably get very annoying very, very fast. I mean, if any of you want to go make it, please, by all means. Just don't monetize it. Who do you go to for creative input or advice about your vids? P.S. Your smile gives me diabetes. Never change. Mm, diabetes. I think the real answer to that is that I go to you guys for my creative input. I mean, I upload a video for you, and you all give me feedback in the comments every single day, so... You guys are my creative input, I guess. I don't go to any specific person or anything like that. Usually, I'm pretty self-aware about the channel or what I'm doing or my editing or that kind of stuff. So, when I when I make a video what that I'm really proud of, I usually know that you guys are gonna like it anyway, that it's very true to my style and not much changes from day to day. So, I don't really need to go to anybody for creative input. Now, if you're talking about who do I go to for inspiration for my videos, let everybody, like every YouTuber. The best thing you can do if you're creating something is to just absorb and consume as much of the media as you possibly can. Like, if you want to do YouTube, watch a lot of YouTube. It's like if you want to go write a book, you have to read a lot of books to know how to write a book. So, like, if you want inspiration for stuff, just watch as many things that interest you as possible. And then you usually just take them all and you put them into your own form and in into your own style. Because that's what I did. I watched a bunch of YouTubers, Mark, Felix, Game Grumps, those kind of guys. And then it just all kind of morphed into my own kind of style and I made it my own then after a while. Where did you lose your virginity? Asking cause the live stream a while back. Yeah, I did- I did a live stream. Um, where it was just like, it was just like this, it was just a Q&A thing, where I just sat down for like two hours and just answered tweets. Um, and I said the next time I was gonna do one, I wanted like, very like, honest questions. Or, not, qu not honest questions, questions I could give very honest answers to, and questions that not a lot of people have asked before. Because everyone asks the generic questions like, where'd you get your name? How did you start YouTube? How do I get famous on YouTube? What equipment do I need? Like, they're all very basic questions that every YouTuber gets asked. So, where did I lose my virginity? I lost my virginity in my old bedroom where I grew up. Um, I was 16 at the time. Um, my parents were gone away. My girlfriend who I had... I was, I was with a girlfriend, um, before my current one for like four years. And within like the first year that we were together, my parents were gone. We were alone in the house for a day, so thing one thing led to another, and that happened. It, it didn't plan out to be that way. Things just kind of spiraled that way, 
And yeah, I was 16. Hey Jack, just what has YouTube changed most about your life? I think the main thing that YouTube has changed about my life is my current living scenario. Um, I, I was living at home with my parents when I started YouTube and then because this became my full-time job I was able to move out and get a place of my own and I'm super happy about that I'm so happy that I have a place of my own just to sit down and record videos every day So like this was a really big change and it's like a very like tangible thing like I can touch it It's all around me. It's something that like it's just like there. I can see it. I can appreciate it every single day so this is something that's really changed about my life because of YouTube. Um, the second thing was pro would probably be like recognition. Like even just today, I, I went to the shop. There, there, it doesn't go by a day now these times if I go down to the shop that somebody doesn't recognize me, which is so awesome. Um, I love meeting people out in public who recognize me or watch my videos or that. But like, I went down to buy like a shaver, and the guy like behind the counter who gave me the shaver was like. Are you Jacksepticeye? I watch your videos all the time and this dude is like the same age as me or maybe even older um, So it's it's really cool and then I was walking back It was like pitch black and some like mother in her car just like rolled down the window She's like, are you Jacksepticeye? And she like she had a, a six-year-old autistic son who really really liked me and who really watched my videos So she wanted something signed for him and I talked to him on the phone and everything that stuff is just incredible. That's the best thing about doing YouTube is to get to meet the people behind who like the viewers behind the the views so to speak like the million views on YouTube that's great and all but it's it's so nice to meet the people behind that to see their faces hear their voices that kind of stuff. I really love it. Can I have your babies? I mean, yeah. Um I think I've one laying around. Um what do you need it for? Like an art project or something? Do you like quiche? Yes. Mainly because it's food, and I love all food. I haven't found a piece of food yet that I don't like. I like- I like everything. And usually when I say that, people are like, Does that mean you like bull's testicles? That's not food. That's not like a normal thing people eat. I mean like normal food. Not like delicacies or weird shit. Is there a question you've never been asked before that you really want someone to ask? Probably not, because if there's something I really, really want to say that I want somebody to ask, I usually just say it, like, without even need to be asked. Like, if it's something that I really, really want to talk about, I'll just say it anyway, I'll branch it off another question or something. So, probably not. If you go to sleep at 6 a.m., what time do you wake up? These days it's not even 6 p- or 6 a.m. I- my sleep schedule is awful. Because, like, Bloodborne came out and I really wanted to play that, um, well, I finished it now, so I'm not playing it as much anymore. But, like, that just consumed my life. So I was, like, trying to find time to do that in between doing YouTube and editing and that kind of stuff. So I was sleeping at, like, half seven. Last night, I went to bed at, like, 7.50 a.m. Um, I usually wake up at like 2 p.m. 3 p.m. then which is really really late to a lot of people But I mean I I need to get like the hours of sleep in and then when I wake up It's just straight back into YouTube. What color are your eyes to me? They look gray. My eyes are blue. Um, they're Kind of I, I don't know what color like to say they are. I'm trying to think of something that they look like they're kind of lightish blue but because cameras all are different and the white balancing is a bit off and my lighting is probably not the best it could be or the most accurate it could be Like things look different like my skin looks more tanned now. Oh god. I spit everywhere My skin looks more tanned right now than it actually is in real life. I'm super pale in real life Um, so my eyes are blue So whenever they look different colors in different videos or Instagram pictures or anything like that it's just because of the different filters and that kind of thing. Jack, can the septic guy go on a date with me? What do you think, Sam? You wanna go on a date with them? You wanna go on a date with Ty Die Cats Love YouTube? Do you? Yes? Okay, you got your answer. Do you mind people calling you Sean? Do you prefer people to call you Jack or Sean? By the way, I love your videos and they help me through bad times. Thank you, that's really nice. I, I'm always happy when my videos help people, like if they're sad or anything like that. It's, it's always nice to hear that I can cheer people up and it means that I'm doing exactly what I want to do. Um, but I don't care what people call me. Um, you can call me Sean, you can call me Jack, whatever you want. I usually just say Jack for the consistency of like YouTube. Like, if you know me online as Jack Septicai, like, if you know me through YouTube, it's probably best you just call me Jack, because then I know where you're coming from. Like, if people on the street stop me and they're like, Hey, Sean! I'm like, 
Oh crap, did I meet them in school or something and now I can't remember them? So like, if you meet me out in public, it's probably better to call me Jack because then I know, oh, they know me because of YouTube and then I can re react accordingly. But, I mean, you can call me whatever you want. Um, the only thing I'd say is to not be one of those, like, fans or people who watch me who are like, I see some people in the comments are like, I love your videos, Jack, and then somebody else will reply and go, Dumbass, I, don't you know his name is Sean? Don't be that person. I fucking hate that. I know you think you're defending me and trying to show how awesome of a fan you are that you like know me so well that you know my name is Sean or that, but you're really not doing what you think you're doing. You just look like you're insulting the person or something like that. Don't be so pompous about like knowing that my name is Sean or anything. Everybody knows my name is Sean at this stage, so please don't do that. Did you realize how strange Tumblr is once you made an account? Oh, I've known how weird Tumblr is for a very long time. Before I even did YouTube, as soon as I got, like, internet, people kind of knew how bad- Because Tumblr has a reputation for being very, very- Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very, very aggressive when it wants to be. Now, from my experience, Tumblr has been super nice. There's been a couple of occasions where people have tried to, like, get in at something that just isn't there. They try and, like, label you as something that just isn't there. Um, and then it goes all Tumblr on your ass, like it, it, like its reputation precedes it. But for the most part, Tumblr is amazing. Tumblr is, like, a really great place for fan art. That's the, that's the thing that I've gotten the most and the best out of Tumblr so far, so I really, really like that. But, like, I've, I've had my account for a long time, I just never used it until recently. So, I mean, from my experience, again, Tumblr is really nice. I really like Tumblr, I love interacting with people there, and, like, the community there is very nice, but... On occasion, Tumblr can go batshit crazy, and the worst part is, the people of Tumblr know this. Even the people are- even the people are- Even the people who are involved in, like, the crazy side of Tumblr know how crazy Tumblr can be, and they just roll with it. I- I don't get it. It can be a scary place sometimes, but, I mean, I'm able to handle it. I'm big boy. Who is your favorite character in Modern Family? P.S. You're a boss! Phil Dunphy, by far. I don't know anybody who doesn't love Phil Dunphy in Modern Family. I mean, if he wasn't in the show, I wouldn't even watch it. When I grow up, I want to be Phil Dunphy. <laughs> he's amazing. His his sense of humor and everything. Well, I know he's written as a character or whatever. But, like, his sense of humor, um, the guy who plays him is just spot on at playing him. It's amazing. I just love watching, like, his scenes in Modern Family. Again, if he wasn't in it, I basically just watch Modern Family for him. Everybody else is just ancillary characters. They're okay, they fill their purpose, but I don't really enjoy them. Phil Dunphy, all the way. Hashtag Phil for life. Since you are Irish, do you like lucky charms? Everyone expects me to say yes or no, or that's racist or something like that. But the thing is, we can't buy lucky charms here, like, the way you can in America. Like, in America, you get, like, the boxes of lucky charms, like normal cereal. They're not on the shelves here. I, I can buy them but they cost a fortune because they're like imported and they come in like those um those like sealed like bowl cup things where you can just like peel off the lid and pour the milk in if you want to um so i can't like buy them as like a box of cereal which sucks cuz i really do like them they're awesome they melt your teeth but they taste delicious will the real jack accept the guy please stand up okay no 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 not you you're not the real Jack Septic guy. I am. Ooga booga. Booper duper. Booper duper. Booper duper. Jack, what is a booper duper? I decided to add that one in because everyone like doesn't know where that's coming from. It like ever since Pax, I just been saying booper duper, and not a lot of people know why. Um, when we, were, I, I, well, I think I explained it in like a live stream or something, or in a video at one time. But I'm going to say right now, um, when we were at Pax. Um, Mark, Bob, and Wade had a thing on the Polar stage, not their panel, this was like a couple of days later, on the last day actually. Um, it was one of the last things we did, they had like a Polar thing on a little stage, and loads of people showed up. And I was in the back, me and Yami were just like watching it on the TV in the background, and then loads of people were like, saw me and they wanted me to sign stuff, so I was going around signing stuff, and then all of a sudden, I've he I heard like loads of people calling my name, because apparently somebody had said something on stage, and Mark asked me up on stage, so I went up for a little bit, and Mark said, Oh, look, it's Jack Septic Guy. Quick, do your thing. Do your thing. Like, he was just saying that, um, just as a joke. So, I thought it was, like, top of the morning or whatever. So, like, to try and be funny, I just, like, or trying to be funny and, like, awkward at the same time, I just said, Booper Duper! As, like, to try and show, <laughs> just as a joke, like, say something that nobody had ever heard before, and that was, like, my thing. Um, then he was like, no, no, no. And then later I found out he was just gonna say no to no matter what I said. 
And then after that, booper duper became like a catchphrase. When I was backstage just like signing stuff, every few minutes I would just hear Mark, Bob and Wade up on stage shouting booper duper and the crowd shouting it, so... I don't know, it became like a catchphrase, it became like an inside joke with our little group then after that, so... That's why we've been saying it in like, our videos, Mark has said it in some of his videos and that kind of thing. It's just... It's just a little running gag. And that does it for this reading your comments video. Well, reading your asks, I guess. Reading your messages. I, usually they're just called asks on Tumblr. But, I again, I said I was going to be doing it on Tumblr. So if you didn't have a Tumblr, if you didn't see your comment in this or anything, or if you put it up on Twitter or YouTube, I'm sorry, I said it was going to be Tumblr, so I took it from there. I tried to leave this episode a bit longer as well, because the last one was really, really short. I did that on purpose, because I wanted the editing to be a lot faster. I wanted it to be a little bit funnier, a little more fast-paced. So, I wanted to get back and do a really long one, because I haven't done that in a while, and this is more like a Q&A, more than an actual just like reading your comments video. It's more to just, maybe hopefully, give more insight as to who I am or my thoughts on certain things, rather than just for jokes. So, I tried to change it up every now and then. Maybe we could have like, different versions of it, maybe... Nah, 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 I was gonna say maybe Twitter can be the funny one, but then it just promotes people writing silly comments for the sake of it. But thank you guys! For all your messages, um, I didn't really expect so many to go over to Tumblr just for that. Um, so thank you, that was awesome. I'm glad that we can change it up every now and then and move on to different sites. Just to spruce it up so like the comments don't all look the same, they don't answer the same, that kind of thing. Just to like, promote interactivity within the, within the community. Get people to just keep talking to each other as much as possible. Because there are great communities all over on the internet, like, the Jacksepticeye community. There's a lot of great people out there, but they have different preferred sites that they'd like to use. So, I really try and promote, like, interactivity with you guys in the different social media sites. And hopefully you guys can talk to each other a bit more, get to know each other a bit more. We can really, like, get the community a lot more tight-knit. I can start seeing some similar people. Like, even some of the comments here, I recognize the people. I've, I'm starting to recognize a lot of very similar people who are drawing things for me, who are writing comments and that kind of thing. And that's really what I want. For like the whole web of people to all come together and just solidify and we can all be a very, a very close-knit, very connected kind of community and we can all know each other and talk to each other and that kind of thing. I love that and I'm really trying to promote that as hard as I can moving forward into the future because the channel is getting huge right now. We are, we are less than a week away from 4 million subscribers, which is mind-boggling. And I'm trying my very best to keep that connectivity there, the in interactivity there, and to like show that I still want to talk to you guys as much as possible. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face, like a boss, and high fives all around. Whoosh, whoosh. But thank you guys, and I will see you on your news. Let's see what you look like with a mouth, like, like a little bit of a. Nah, nah. I think he looks better without the mouth. What do you guys think? Like, his mustache is so big, it covers his mouth. I think I'm gonna have to draw your guitar. I think that's just- This is like my favorite picture in the whole video. Wow. That's 40 minutes recording this video. Oh. It's gonna be like a 20 minute video. I don't know if that's like good enough for a reading comments thing. Ah! We'll see.